Mother Nature unleashing her fury on Northeast Ohio for a second night in a row. This time, she traded flooding rains for destructive winds, even tornadoes, including one that tore through Cleveland. Oh my God, <laughs> this is crazy. The storm screamed through, leaving their mark across our area, tearing up trees, bringing down buildings, and at one point, leaving a half million Ohio homes and businesses in the dark. Now, a new round of cleanup is underway. Nobody's hurt and everybody's homes are doing okay, so that's the best thing. And we know a lot of you are probably pretty tired today after that wild night we had last night. And back to back, right? So if the alerts on your phone or the tornado sirens outside didn't wake you up last night, the storms certainly did. The thunder, the lightning, those winds. Yeah, for sure. And tornadoes or not, they did a whole lot of damage. You can see a lot of it here. At this point, we do know at least four tornadoes touched down in Northeast Ohio overnight, including one that did all of this damage right here in Cleveland. The roof of the new life at Calvary on East 79th and Euclid was ripped off. Debris tossed everywhere. Light poles were also bent and trees torn up. So another tornado tore through this city of Menor. It was on the ground for three miles, touching down near Menor Avenue and then going east through the Great Lakes Mall property before lifting up near Kruger Park. News 5 spent the day in Menor talking with people there as they're starting the cleanup process and we will have their stories in just a minute for you. Yeah, we sure will. Well, first, let's talk to someone who kept us safe throughout the evening. He's been working really hard. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Mark Johnson tonight. What's going it was on, a long night for everybody. I drove home last night, literally was dodging trees wow. on all the roads to get home on the east side of town in Lake County. 